Okay, open GNS3. Cancel. Okay, ready. GNS3 is working with GNS3 virtual machine on VMware workstation. Okay, so that's why here GNS3 virtual machine is set up. This is necessary to configure the Microtik uh, router. Okay, and go to preferences and GNS3 virtual machine is enable the GNS3 virtual machine using VMware workstation prior this is necessary you can see the following video to set up GNS3 virtual machine on VMware workstation okay uh, new project okay go to router section and search this microtik okay and drag this device the and drag this device to the working space and this will appear okay so kbm is necessary gns3 virtual machine um, workstation vmware okay here vmware necessary okay next the only option is run the appliance on gns3 virtual machine next Okay, next. Okay, there is a lot of versions. 6.41, 6.40. So you need the image and go to Microtik official page and download an uh, image. Microtik. Okay, micro dick routers and wireless. Okay, uh, at microdick.com. And software. Okay, and download Archive. Uh, long term releases. You can download one of these. But um, stable you can download 6.43 and um, you can download the 6.43.8 that image that zip img and zip okay go back to downloads and Download Winbox 3.18. Okay. Okay, ready. Okay, and note that 6.43 is not here. Okay, and you can add and create a new version 6.43.8. Okay and down here it's ready select this and import the image okay this is the image file and uh, extract this okay and this and this directory select the disk image file 
ok open ok ready to install on green and next yes by default the quick emulator ok by default and ready this is the RAM 128 and other settings KBM necessary next finish ok right click and configure template you can increase the size for the RAM but this is very well for now the CPUs ok but this default settings will work very well ok including the symbol will be a router firewall ok not problem with this and go to network tab the adapters only two and you can increase this in my case four or five and that is enough for interfaces okay drag the device go to end devices Okay, I have this Windows 10 uh, virtual machine on VirtualBox. Okay, and you can set up a virtual machine on VirtualBox following all the steps in the next video. Okay, uh, remember that here in VirtualBox the Windows Virtual Machine on settings on network the adapter should be configured on generic driver and the cable connected to use on GNS3 Okay, and drag this and connect one Ethernet interface, the first one to the VirtualBox virtual machine and start all devices. Okay, and uh, Double click on the MicroTIC device on MicroTIC router. This is the console. The login, you can choose admin and an empty password. Do you want to see the software license? No. And you can use commands to configure this device but for now I will close the terminal the console and I could use Winbox that it's a more easy tool to configure the microdic device okay and go to virtual machine the windows pc connected to the ethernet interface okay and insert a usb device
Okay, and copy Winbox. Ready. On network configuration, the Ethernet interface. Uh, you can use uh, DHCP client. Okay, not problem. And okay. Uh, I will demonstrate that the Microdic device is not configured with an IP address. Okay. Uh, interface IP print. Okay. No IP address is configured on interfaces but winbox wrong anyway here you can enter the IP address of the device but the device uh, does not have an IP address but you can use the nightboard tab and uh, Winbox will detect the neighbor, a directly connected neighbor. Okay, and you can select the MAC address. Look at here, no IP address configured in the neighbor, but this tool will use uh, layer two. Will use a layer two protocol to detect the neighbor. Click here on the MAC address, use the login, admin and no password and connect. Success. Okay, and on the IP address section, you can configure the addresses. Add a new address and enter the IP address and in the CIDR notation, for example, twenty four for the sub subnet mask. Select the interface, I will use the first one and apply. Ok, ready. IP address configured on Ethernet 1. Ok, and you can go to create a pool for DHCP server. Ok, add a new pool, the name um, pool1 the addresses and um, use the range for example from 100 dash to 150 apply, ok Okay, ready. The range of IP addresses available on the DHCP server. Go to IP DHCP server. Okay. Uh, add a new DHCP uh, server. DHCP one. And choose your interface. Okay, Ethernet one. Mm. You can modify the list time. Only ten minutes. I prefer, um, for example, four hours. Okay, for the list time. 
and choose the pool number one okay Re remember here, here is the the range of IP addresses available IP addresses and any other options by default apply okay finally on networks at your network the network address okay and the subnet mask 24 the prefix CIDR notation okay and gateway net mask DNS server or servers you can add more servers okay the domain and other options but this is enough for me apply okay go back to the HCP and enable the uh, DHCP server or click here to enable okay and go to client disable the interface enable Uh, and you will receive the IP address configuration on the client that you can verify on the command line interface IP config all okay this is the, the interface domain IP address subnet mask the list time four hours okay obtain it expires the forwarder the HCP server DNS success and ping the microdic router success thank you very much